night. Hey guys, back with episode 2 of Octox. Just if you want to know why this is called Octox, um, yeah, my nickname's kind of Octboy and uh, Octox, Octox, no, okay. Alright, getting on to the second episode. Trump happened. Uh, yeah, I don't want to repeat this again and again, but uh, I think everyone's heard of it already. Um, well, what should I say? Congratulations, Mr. Donald Trump, on uh, being elected as the next president. And for all the people who voted for him, um, you voted for him, and now you will face the consequences, whether that's positive or negative. <laughs> Getting on with the, the first or second topic, I should say. Um, Apple has actually taken account to all the complaints on the new MacBook Pro ports. So the Thunderbolt 3 USB Type-C ports and to kind of solve or make your life easier, they have actually they have reduced the prices of the accessories. So USB-C to USB-A or USB-C to other like dongles until the end of the year so yeah that's uh, something new from Apple yeah I mean, we've never seen them lower the prices only increase it and when I'm saying they lowered the prices I mean it's significant like for instance that for instance let's take the USB type C to type A adapter which has gone from $19 to $9 and I think Apple's has done a good job but at at this however it should be like a permanent change not not this temporary until the end of year change since it's still gonna be another problem in 2017 and I think 2018 USB type C is gonna be more common but um at least they did something the next thing is uh, YouTube has got an HDR and um, I don't know how relevant it could be for you guys, but for anyone who has a HDR capable TV, um, can now get YouTube and HDR. And what HDR is can kind of be explained in the picture um, that that is being shown on your screen now, and you can kind of kind of see the difference between colors. And yeah, that's another improvement. So the third topic I want to talk about is that Ronaldo has signed a, a lifetime deal with Nike. Um, it's pretty amazing to see, even though he wants to kind of start his own um, fashion brand and, um, and kind of his own brands like with his hotel, he is still um, being pursued by these other companies. Even, yeah, and I mean it makes sense because he's such a famous athlete but um, you know extra money win-win <laughs> I guess and yeah it's kind of interesting to see when how Nike kind of does this with some star athletes with the lifetime deals the fourth topic is Tesla supercharger um, so Tesla has said that it's gonna start uh, charging a fee for supercharging your car in 2017 and um, in a way I get it, I mean, they also need to pay for getting all the electricity and, and now as the consumption of Tesla models um, start increasing, uh, more and more electricity is needed. But um, on, on the bright side, he, uh, Elon Musk said that the, the Tesla superchargers will not cost that much, so that's a good thing. However, as a company, you you want to, of course, get the money back for what you're paying and make more profit on top of that. And, but these extra costs that come onto the customers kind of demotivates the, the consumption of these electric cars. So I don't know how that will work. And I think for the Tesla Model 3, at least, it's not going to be charged. However, closer to that time, um, we'll find out more. And for those of you who may have heard of this, the Snapchat spectacles are now actually officially out. Um, out as in they're not being sold in stores. However, like in the US, they're dropping like these areas and uh, dropping of these machines in these areas. 
where you can buy, it's like a vending machine for Snapchat spectacles. And basically you can use these goggles to kind of Snapchat from your, your point of view and uh, it records directly onto your phone and um, and then you can choose how you, how you wish to send it and who you wish to send it to. Um, yeah, I think it's really cool technology bringing back those Google Glass type features but um, I don't know how much or how worth it is going to be for people. It's, it's, it seems like a one-time play and fun, you know, device but I think it's even more for the females to be honest not being sexist or anything but the glasses kind of do look I wouldn't wear them that's that's all I'm saying I wouldn't wear them I like the technology but I wouldn't wear them and also for the price um, I don't think it's worth it I think it's 100 or two, uh, 200 euro plus somewhere in between but I think it's not worth the price if you can only snapchat for like 10 seconds even though that is snapchat you get what I mean also another topic or the last topic I'm talking today is about um, Dubai launching these drone hunters because of uh, well it's one of the busiest airports and at the airport there was unauthorized uh, drone usage and this has happened three times and the airport was shut down three times for safety precautions um, and I feel like this is going to increase so much after manufacturers increasing the main, um, the manufacturing of drones and uh, more users are wanting to you know, consume or use it and also now with these drone licenses and all it's going to just become another annoying thing and I think more countries are maybe going to make these drone hunters as they might even become a, a weapon for some people oh yeah and you remember last week i talked about the xiaomi mi mix yeah that um i was just reading they restocked the the product and within one minute it was all sold out all units gone one minute i don't get how you're that fast to even take your wallet or manage to pay so fast for the device that it takes one minute for all the units to sell out. I mean, it's incredible how much demand there is, but one minute. <laughs> so that's gonna be it for our episode two. Um, many things this week. Um, and uh, I hope you liked my content. Uh, give me some thumbs if you did. Give me dislikes if you didn't, I guess. And maybe feedback on what I could improve. Um, and yeah, as you know, this is a, a weekly um, episode or show or series. Um, subscribe to see it first next week. And yeah, I'll see you in episode three next week. See ya.